Hey makers, this is Dhruvin and in this episode, I am going to teach you one of the method to deploy your Power Pages solution from one environment to another environment. Yes, we are going to talk about the deployment of Power Pages site. So without further delay, let's get started. So first of all, let me show you the use case over here. So currently, I have created one of the Power Pages site over here on my screen. Let it to be open. So this is one Taste 22 site that I have created over here. Over here, you can see that I just added one simple label over here and one page over here called About Pets. This is what I have created at this point. Now, the idea here is I simply want to move this complete Taste 22 site from this environment to my another environment. Now, what are the different approaches for Power Pages deployment? In the market, there are different ways to deploy the Power Pages solution. Number one is you can manual export and import your solution. Another method is you can use DevOps pipeline. Third method is you can use native Power Platform pipeline as well. Also, if you want to deploy it via PowerShell, you can deploy via PowerShell as well. Now, today I am going to teach you the method using Power Platform deployment pipeline. For that, already pipeline is something which I have already set it up. But before that, couple of prerequisites we need to fulfill over here. Now, the very first thing that you need to do is, let's say for an example, you have created your Power Pages site outside the solution. In that case, first of all, you need to add that site within the solution. Then only you will be able to perform the deployment. For that, simplest way is go to the solution over here. Once you go to the solution, start creating a new solution for yourself. I am clicking on new solution over here, like Power Pages Test 22. I am creating a solution name this one. I am selecting the publisher over here. And now let me click on create over here. So I am simply creating a blank solution over here. Now, once your blank solution is created, we need to add our Power Pages site within the solution. It's fairly very very simple steps. I am going to showcase you in a while. So this is my solution, Power Pages Taste 22. Alright, now we know that to support the ALM, solutions are the object which is using which we can simply perform our deployment. No matter if it is your Power Apps or Power Automate or uh, whether it's your Copilot Studio, anything can be moved using the solution, right? Because solution are the only component within the Power Platform which is supporting ALM, all right? ALM means simply Application Lifecycle Management. Now, the simple thing we need to do here is we need to attach our Power Pages site over here within this solution. Then only we will be able to move it from here to there. Alright, so simply what we need to do is click on new option over here, click on the site option. So I'm just going to click on more option over here and uh, sorry, I just selected incorrect one. You need to add existing one because we already set up the site, right? So simply add existing site and once you do that here, you will be able to see the different Power Pages site available for your environment. Okay, so in this case, I want to move this uh, particular Power Pages site. So I will select this particular site from here and click on add from here. Once you add that, it will add all the solution object for the Taste 22 site. Now, the good thing about Power Pages is once you add that as a solution object, it will add everything over here. All of your web files, all of your uh, JavaScript file or let's say HTML file you have created or any kind of site setting you have updated. Everything will be added as a part of your solution. Now over here you can see that site object has been added once you have added the site. Make sure you click on the site object over here. Now you need to do one more important thing over here. Whenever you do the deployment, before that make sure you select your solution site over here. Click on the three dots over here because still this process we need to do manually here. Click on add required object. Okay, when you do add required object, if there are any dependency on this site which needed to be attached as a part of the deployment, it will add all those dependencies over here. Usually this process is taking some time and now you can see that everything has been successfully added over here. So your solution object is ready. Alright, now from here, I would like to say you one thing. 
overall now the site is available as a part of your solution right now already i have created a couple of videos on my youtube for the manual deployment okay if you want to do manual deployment you can proceed with that as well like click on this and you can simply export your solution you can publish all your changes click on next and probably after that you can export that as a managed solution or unmanaged solution whatever you want let's say if you are doing just a uat develop uh, deployment or maybe taste deployment and if you want that uh, the code should be editable over there then you can do the unmanaged uh, deployment over there but let's say if you think that after a deployment if you don't want to edit anything then you can simply deploy as a managed solution and we know that already like uh, for production side usually we do the managed deployment right so you can do with this manual route all right uh, that is something i believe probably everyone knows it all right but now here i'm going to show you one amazing way again like enterprise level this methodology is very very popular and most of the time at enterprise level we deploy our power bg site in we using that particular method but again there are pros and cons of this particular method and i'm going to choose a route of the power platform deployment pipeline okay power platform deployment pipeline and native way to deploy the solution so whenever you go here and if you open the pipeline you will be able to see the pipeline option over here okay generally if you haven't set up the pipeline it it will not show you any pipeline over there to you okay but pipelines are the fastest way to move the solution from one environment to another environment but only one drawback for that pipeline is power platform deployment pipeline require a managed environment so your target environment where you are deploying your solution is marked as managed environment if it is a production type of environment all right so you need to make sure that uh, your target environment is a managed environment then only you will be able to do it via deployment pipeline now deployment pipeline itself is a very huge concept guys okay and i have created one of the complete playlist on the power deployment pipeline it's not just limited to uh, only power pages but it's limited it's unlimited on the power apps part power automate part everywhere it is useful over there so whatever pipeline that you have set up over there using that pipeline you can deploy any kind of solution whether it's a power app solution or power automate solution or copilot solution or power page solution everything can be deployed easily with the deployment pipeline now again deployment pipeline as i said like you know it's a vast topic licensing is there uh, apart from that uh, it depend that how you want to set up your whole pipeline also you need to consider that enterprise level how you want to manage that end to end pipeline for yourself right because the thing is that enterprise level you know not everyone has access to deploy the solution only specific set of people require access for deploying the solution as well as sometimes you need to deploy your solution with a service principal as well so so many aspects are there that we need to consider in the mind in this case as well we will deploy the solution with the service principal okay so all those aspects you need to consider in your mind when you are deploying your solution from one environment to another environment now if you want to learn the complete deployment pipeline i have a dedicated playlist over that i have provided the link as well in the description box you can just uh, you know watch that entire playlist almost 6 hour long playlist is there and almost 6 episodes are there and almost you can see the episode length is also too big here i covered everything into too much in detail so that it covers everything over there with regards to deployment pipelines okay although this videos are member only so you need to uh, go with the premium membership over there and it's fairly very affordable it's uh, even uh, cheaper than a medium size of pizza so you know you just click on uh, my profile icon over there and there you can see the join button and you can join it out over there all right so it's up to you you can go with that all right but let's say for an example if you don't want to use deployment pipeline then you can do manual deployment as well okay from here your path is simple and straight forward but now let's do the uh, solution deployment with the pipeline because i already set up the pipeline so what i'm doing is i'm simply opening my solution over here i'm clicking on pipeline over here and basically this is the pipeline uh, which is available over here all right so this is my development environment and this is my uat environment where i want to simply move my solution now the thing is that if you have the requirement to deploy as a unmanaged solution at that time i would re recommend don't use the deployment pipeline because deployment pipeline only deploy the package as managed solution not unmanaged solution 
all right so now i'm simply clicking on deploy here option and as soon as you start the deployment basically it will show you where you want to deploy so currently i want to deploy it so i'm simply clicking on next option over here and basically it will start the deployment process afterwards so this is taking some time to deploy the package it added the version it added the deployment nodes and now let's click on deploy button over here as soon as you click on deploy button behind the scene whatever pipeline step you have configured depending on that it will start the deployment so there are di different stacks also available at the pipeline level like a uh, pre-export level uh, before deployment if you require any kind of approval or those kind of thing you can define that as well so uh, pipeline is an amazing concept and every power platform developer should know about it so if you want to learn it feel free to go to that particular course full playlist is there or you can uh, check it at check it out at your own time okay but now let's wait for this to export via pipeline okay and you can see that currently it is exporting the artifact over here it will take some time in order to reflect that whole change uh, usually for power Badis deployment usually it is taking around 15 to 20 minutes in order to uh, deploy the complete site over there because site object is sometimes heavy sometimes in your power pages site you are having so many pages sometimes you are having so many site setting web template page template everything it is moved by the pipeline okay so it will take some moments uh, apart from that if you haven't configured any kind of authentication or, or everything will be moved via the deployment pipeline so let's wait for a couple of moments in order to deploy this particular package over there all right so let's wait currently you can see that it is just going in a um, pending mode because it requires some sort of approval over there so let me just approve it uh, it's just auto approved and uh, it's just going for deployment over there will take some moments and here i am my power page site has been deployed successfully you can see that last deploy is showing to me over here after that even if you want to move it to the production you can move it over there but let's verify the site in the uat environment so i'm clicking on go to environment over here and basically it will show me underneath the manage solution so let's wait and see how it will look like over here so i'm just going over here uh, I'm going to the manage section over here and you can see that my power Badis solution has been deployed perfectly over here. Now the simplest thing is that let's go to the solution over here and now let's go to the site and see how it looks like. All right. So what I'm doing here is I'm simply clicking on the site option over here and I'm just clicking on the open option from here. So basically it will try to open my power Badis site into my UAT environment. Let's see how it looks like. It is opening my site and here I am. You can see that this 22 private site has been opened over here and you can see here it is showing me the environment as well. Power Platform Deployment Pipeline UAT. So this is where I am in the UAT environment and it is showing me this site completely deployed over here. And you can see here home, about, pets, all the pages are also coming across properly with the site deployment. All right. So now let's wait for a few moments. On meantime, what you can do here is simply go to the home option over here. And by default, what happens is when we are deploying the Power Pages site for the very first time, it is showing underneath inactive site. So let's click on inactive site. And overall here, you can see that you can see your deployed site over here. So this is the site we just deployed. So it is showing me over here. Now, the thing is that after deployment, you need to reactivate the site if you have deploying for the very first time. All right. If you already have the site and you are deploying, then it's a different story. But the thing is that already, you know, you are deploying for the very first time and this is the very first time you are deploying over here. You need to click on reactivate option over here and make sure that when you are reactivating your power page site at the time you are having the power platform admin center access as well as you should have access on uh, as a cloud administrator on the Azure level. So currently, I, this is what it is site looking like. You can just rename your site as well if you want after the deployment. So let's I'm just making over here like a UAT 22. Okay, I'm just making like this and you can just make it like this site UAT 22, something like this. So your URL will be looking like this. And now let's click on done and let's set it up reactivate the site all right once you reactivate the site basically you need to sync your site and need to check the stuff after the deployment so let's wait for this to be finished over here 
so here i am you are all good and every page and everything that you have set up over there from your uh, from your uh, existing page over here it is showing you everything over here which deploy perfectly over here all right and now what you can do here is simply sync up yourself and simply preview yourself and check what's going on over there so i'm just clicking on sync over here and i can just preview it afterwards and once you preview it it will show you the preview over here it's showing me the error no problem let's try to open up the site and sometimes to even reflect the changes it will take some time so just give give up some time after you do the deployment and you do the sync all right so i'm just going over here let me just open up my home site and here i am i just waited for few more minutes like 10 minutes and i refresh my page and now i can see that my site has been opened perfectly over here for me even if i'm sign in over here i can sign in and uh, able to access the other content from the power page site as well so let me just quickly sign in over here and let me just sign in with the microsoft and try id over here and once i do that it just redirect me to the home page so who, after deployment it if it will just throw you some simple error maybe you know just try it after some more time like 10 to 15 minutes you just need to give it and deploy it i mean refresh for your page over there all right so that's pretty much it all about the power pages deployment now similar way if you want to move your stuff to the production environment you can move that as well with the pipeline if you are doing it without pipeline as well the solution export import way it will work in the same particular fashion and same steps you need to follow it over there all right so that's pretty much it how you can simply deploy your power bi site from one environment to another environment hope this video is helping you and valuing your time if so hit thumbs up and subscribe my channel and don't forget to follow me on my twitter and instagram also if you are looking for any live training from me you can always visit our website for the latest training batch over there with that note this is thruvin signing off see you in the next episode with some amazing content till then have a great day goodbye